All right, everyone, we are here with two very special guests. We are joined by Hannah Burner and Des Bishop. They are officially a married couple. It's their first podcast, interview, show as a married couple. How exciting. How do you guys feel? Are you honored to be here? Yeah. <laughs> What's the feeling? It's, wow, that's a lot of feelings. It's yeah. an honor and a privilege for us to be here um, for the wedding episode. Yep. Uh, it's weird saying I have a husband. Yeah, I haven't. I say wife. I still feel like it's like a joke. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm like, like, my, like, my wife. Really that elaborate prank you guys pulled on all those wedding guests. <laughs> it takes. I feel like it takes a while to get used to it. It was the same when fi with when you fiance. first say fiance, you sound like such a tool. Like yeah. my fiance, yeah. my fiance. Like it, well, some, it's also just one of those words, like because yeah. it's, it's like French. French. I used to like, just say boyfriend. The wife sounds serious. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fiance. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, fiance. That's so weird. You have a husband. Wife sounds like I'm a naggy bitch. Anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's not explore. So it, it's been how long? Uh, three weeks? Three, three weeks, weeks and five days. Okay. He's been counting. She's yes. looking at like me. a jail She's sentence. Looking at why me are you talking she got about it, it? She got it wrong in the elevator. That's uh -huh. why she looked at me to make sure Babe, that she... Life, like time with you just flies. There so uh, what were the feelings leading up to the wedding and what is the feeling now? Well, we were, v I think I hooked him because I was very like, I'm casual, like I'll do a backyard wedding, I don't care. And then I discovered I wedding them. TikTok. Mm. And then it, it gets dangerous because at that moment I was like, if I don't have a Tulum Beach Dolphin inspired wedding with a human sacrifice, I'm gonna <laughs> lose my mind. And he was pretty cool with like- And I wasn't actually, I wasn't involved in any of that. So I had, I had no idea. Actually. Also disco themed, also disco yeah. themed. And he kind of let me be creative and fun with it. And overall it was, it went by really fast. I, everyone says to me, they're like, do you feel different? I feel the same. But it was a great excuse to have the people you love in one place. Mm -hmm. And I, like, you know, you, you guys perform all the time. I called it the green room, but like the bridal suite. I'm like, I'm not nervous for a little 10 minute ceremony. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I could do this. <laughs> and then you get there and the the heaviness of the moment does hit you. Yeah, and, and the I, pressure, the, the pressure of like uh, having everybody be happy oh, is, like, yeah. is the biggest feeling. I ever. was yeah. that annoying bride where I was like, are you having fun? Is everything okay? Because <laughs> these people came all the way to West Hampton to see yeah. us. So my biggest advice for people is just like, really get your people pleasing voice out of it and everyone's gonna have fun if they don't like that's not your fault did, uh, did you guys see the viral disney couple that um foregoed feeding their guests so that minnie and mickey could show up at their wedding well, selfish <laughs> truly selfish i feel like food is the most Weird. important yes. thing i we just talked about it on our episode today that came out today which is why it's fresh <laughs> in our brain so sorry and they 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 did like the am i the asshole reddit thread yes. and they are disney people and they had their wedding at disney and on the invitation they said like food will be available but what they meant was like you could go to the restaurant like in the venue and like buy your own food she also said there were vending machines throughout if people really I got that. that hungry A bag of uh, chips. because the, they took the catering budget and allotted that money <laughs> to have minnie to, have and it, to having minnie and mickey show up for their wedding photos and for their first Dude, dance, wow. which they charge fifty five hundred dollars for up one your hour. Cousin. And you can go to Times Square and get it for like twenty bucks. <laughs> they, could have, they could have anybody, literally anybody, dress up. Dress as Mickey up and your yeah. annoying like, cousin. They didn't have to pay fifty five hundred dollars for that. But the but people who say like you don't have to feed your guests people, right? is no, no, no. insane. And like my guests, clearly that not is, very normal. It is but they're so just, like, unsafe. Random people yes. that decided this is what they wanted yeah, to do correct. for their wedding. Our friends, it is unsafe to not have food around because they will black out and do unforeseen things, which would be great mm -hmm. to talk about on a podcast. But at the time, I wasn't trying to like have someone try to like fuck a great aunt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did that happen? I also, though? you never know. I also did see a um, Disney thing recently where the guy was trying to propose, oh, and I yeah, guess it was proposal. like in the wrong yeah, area terrible. of Disney, and it was like a like. A like a referee trying yeah. to like stop mm -hmm. a pitch. Yeah, R look at that little sports yeah, reference. Yeah. You guys don't wear a Barcelona. A referee <laughs> trying to stop a pitch. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, Does that yeah. happen? Literally mm -hmm. never. No. <laughs> There's, you know, no you yeah. There's no referee. There's no referee. First yeah. of all, um, yeah. um, okay. and there, um. I don't think there's ever been one instance of an umpire trying to snatch the baseball away from a yeah. pitcher. Usually he stops the yeah. pitcher before the pitcher throws it, but that's yeah. okay. That's okay. Yep. 
You guys got it. I, I, I knew where you were headed with but, it. Mm-hmm. So this employee, like, when he gets down and when he grabs the ring and is like, sorry, you need to get down these stairs and do it somewhere else. And it's like, that's when you take, you're like a little too good at your job, you know? Yeah, yeah no. Or it, don't be a I, hero. That, I saw a lot of people being like, he was doing his job. I don't care if you're doing your job. Like, do your job later. No, you're not getting fired for letting people have an engagement right. on the stage at Disney. Like. Y- y- you're disrupting love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So did you guys practice your kiss? <gasps> no, we, we didn't. We didn't. We did. I joked we with him. We didn't practice kiss or the dance, actually. Oh, no dance practice I either. joked with him. I'm like, what if I just do like a little too much tongue? And he's like, if you make a joke, I'm going to be so pissed. But What kind of kiss was it? He kind of nailed it. And you know when you... <laughs> did you nail it? I don't know how I she did. She gives me credit for the kiss. He, yeah. he I nailed the, it. I was the kisser. He nailed but it. But she gets to talk about it for some reason. You know when you've ever seen yourself make like a kissy face on someone or, or like someone snaps a photo of you kissing, which is rare, and you're just like, ew. Yes. That's what I look like, like when like, I kiss. Yes. Are squished. Yeah, 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 like your fucking my, lip is like hanging out. You take like fear. a cute, se- you think you're taking like a cute <laughs> selfie of you guys kissing yeah. and then you look at the photo and you're like, that's what we look like. <laughs> right. I, I was very like, conscious. This isn't I was, cute. I was very conscious of the kiss performance. <laughs> And I, I, I was I, I was very uh, confident that I would like take charge in that situation and just make it uh, powerful but not awkward. Yeah, I think like a simple like n- not like a, a, a good tongue make out. No, yeah. no like tongue make out. But it can't like just a, be a kiss on. It has like to be a passion. romantic. He, passionate. So there was like a two part with ours. So like at first we connected, and then and I then fingered her, <laughs> and, then it got, and then it got out of control. <laughs> That was the second part was a little awkward. Yeah. I'll, I'll admit it. Yeah, I'll it was admit a two it. part. <laughs> First part I nailed. The second yeah. part everybody was like, "Whoa!" Everyone was like, oh, "That's the privilege oh. of doing it on the beach." <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, babe, that was so funny. <laughs> oh, oh, surprise! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you made a good joke. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm sorry. What do you do for a living? No, I didn't see that coming. But yeah, the second part he kind of like leaned in a little. And I thought it was nice. Every now and then, you no one wants to oh, see. Oh, it's kind of friends. a hug. The second part was like we, I kissed for a bit, and then it was kind of like an embrace. Yes, yeah, that's yes. beautiful. That sounds yeah. nice. So and it was be- kind of <laughs> like a we did it. It was kind of like a we did it moment. Yeah, yeah. I would say. And oh then God, I decided lovely. I want to wear my shoes on the beach. Um, Paige probably was like, "How you're not? You have to wear your shoes." And then I continued to just kind of like. Crawl in the sand. Yeah, there was no I, literally I feel like there's the something sand. fun about taking your shoes off and just like having them in your hand and you're True. barefoot in the beach. You know what? Could it could have done I that? I could have directed, but I was like heels in the sand, drowning yeah. in the sand. But that was like a journey and that was fun for me. Um, yeah. No, but, so you didn't have um, bridal parties, right? We initially no. were like, I don't want. It gives me very like my I, I kind of think vibes. that's smart. Like I've always. I, people think I'm weird when I say it and I'm sure you got some people being like what's wrong with you like mm-hmm. I think that you can have your bachelorette party your bachelor party and you bring your closest friends but then when it comes down to it I'm like I kind of just like want my sister to be my maid of honor and yeah. then everyone else shows up I know my mom is not gonna allow me to do that I know I'm gonna have to have a bridal party oh but I like I like the <laughs> I, big fat Italian I, wedding. I like the idea of just being like everyone because it's a lot of Even pressure just, I mean, on a lot I, of people I, yeah, I'm, plus I, it, I'm getting a little hurt over here no, <laughs> you, know, you wouldn't want me up there with you no of course I'd I have you up there with me no no I, you, I'm gonna have a bridal party, so you will be up there. I'm telling you, there's no choice for yes. me. Yeah. But I do like the idea of it. But then the problem is, I have so many cousins and like yeah. cousins yeah, I'm close with, and like friends from here and there in different places. And I'm yeah. like, just try. It just becomes so much of like, who do you put in? Who do you not put in? I am Fran, you will be yeah. second in line to my sister. Thank you. Okay? The amount of drama that a wedding <laughs> yes. causes that you don't choose is wild like you don't even know how things can offend people so i was like you know what i'm not going to give an option because the idea of like choosing friends and ranking friends made me uncomfortable but then it kind of came naturally when i was doing my bachelorette yeah and i was like guys huddle in huddle in i love you all the most i'm not going to give you duties you don't have to wear anything but like you're my bridesmaids but don't tell anyone this yeah. isn't yeah. like a thing but i do think like making people wear the same colored dress it, it's a community thing but i also didn't want to feel like anyone owed me anything mm-hmm. cuz i don't want to have to owe them shit when their wedding happens <laughs> so I mean, i'm not against it but it's just so convenient to not have it yeah. yeah you know and it doesn't 
add or take away. And day so of, I was gonna. Uh, negative, I, had, I texted fine. them and said, "Come get ready with me." Day of, and I invited some other people too. Mm-hmm. So, but also, there's some people who have the same amazing friend group since they're young, and I totally see how that could be really yes. beautiful. I I've like moved a lot in my life, and I've lived in a lot of different yeah. places. So it was like a good mix of people. But my friends got along, which was very cool. Right. So you, you're like, you just have a, a couple different friends from different places, not just like one big. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I do think for all the girlies who are listening who don't care a lot about weddings or getting married or they're decentering men from their life, which I'm yeah. obsessed with. It is a beautiful moment. I, you can't say that right after you get married. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't understand that. It's what people call a contradiction. I, I, I don't understand. My first Instagram was just me alone. Yeah, but I don't understand. It's yes, I don't understand the decentering men from your life when you're like, I just got married. <laughs> well, my husband's she, sitting next to me. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, that, can we just call her out? She's full of shit. Yeah, that I can't get on board okay, with. Stop trying to get a viral moment. I can't. It's just nonsense. I breaking up with me right now. I can't get on board with that because like you just you just got married to a man. In your life. Ask me, am I breaking up with you right now? When you Babe, just you're said holding you're me really hard right now. <laughs> He's holding life. me really <laughs> tight right now. Controlling, okay. controlling. Okay, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I said, think that okay, I, women I'm can out. get. Women could be like, oh, like she has it all or whatever, because she is married. Or I want to find that relationship. So what I'm trying to say is that it's not everything. That getting a man does not equate happiness, or that you feel like complete. Okay, that makes more That's sense. I, but I like mean. decentering men in your life was like your next Instagram story after you just got married and I was like that makes zero sense <laughs> it makes zero sense she's at all uh, you she, just, she would, you just... She's somebody who's struggling to let go of her sort of like past identity yeah it's, it's been really but bad you for can my have brand both. it's been truly horrible for my brand um, like you could be your own person and also be married no well that's kind of what I was saying and I also want I, no I that makes sense though because when you're kind of when you definitely have a lot of your like stand up slash TikTok being very like <laughs> anti men and then being like, guys, here's the happiest day of my life, my wedding. <laughs> Page nine, the men <laughs> to are trash a man. Tour. Like it's it's so bad for me. However, I but I honestly like I love men more than anything. Um we found a great one right here. <laughs> I, but I do You're all over the I place. I do think it's weird that like your biggest celebration that you have with people is like when you find a partner. And I I guess like the feminist in me gets like a little like so many women that's like their biggest goal and I think things will be shifting over yeah. time but I also think the wedding is just such at first I was like fuck weddings it's too much about like finding a guy but then I realized no it's just an excuse for two families to like celebrate life and like a great accomplishment so I've been turned I was like I thought it was like chuggy to get married <laughs> It didn't I require that. Chugi. You know, it didn't. It didn't oh, require such too. a journey for you. You could have just been like, "Fuck it, I'm getting married. It's pretty cool." Yeah, there's He's no right. pressure. There was no pressure. That's right. Now, did you guys write your own vows? Oh, good question. We did not. No. We, traditional. We, what? Or yeah. none at all. <laughs> we, or, just, <laughs> or just we do, I guess. Ours were traditional. We got very lucky with uh, Hannah's family friend as a judge. He was our officiant. Okay. And mm. we were honestly the only one of the only things that we were kind of stressing about was the vows because. Yeah. You know, it's terrible because I'm very anti. I'm a, a total atheist, but I was an altar boy. I'm very Catholic yes, growing yeah, up, yeah. and I I <laughs> was an altar boy. For, I was an altar girl. So oh, I, you were? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, but the thing was that yeah. I was an altar Uh-oh. boy for a lot, a lot of <laughs> weddings, and you get a little bit attached to certain things. Yeah, Aww. certain things just make you go. This is a wedding, definitely. And I've been to some recent weddings where they had their own vows, and I kind of hated them yeah i was like this is rubbish i don't need to hear about like friends in your fucking vows i need i want like marriage Uh yeah so but we we, were aware of like there can be a lot of mumbo jumbo during a ceremony where they're saying words and you're like what does this mean Mm -hmm. or like people come and say a quote and you're like i could have done with the last five minutes of my life doing something else Mm -hmm. so we kind of kept it really quick and then in the irish culture because he's lived in ireland most of his life they give speeches. So me and him like gave a speech during the reception. But we had pondered putting a, a, a personal, uh, like like two or three minutes into yeah. the vows. But we but that, the only reason we were going to do that is because we were a little concerned that we wanted to have a quick ceremony, but we were just doing it like getting married done. Mm-hmm. We were a little worried that it'd be too quick. Right, yeah, but right. But her, uh, Bernie, the judge, he had like this this format with like traditional but like perfect vows, not like yeah. the crowd was I, rowdy. I actually <laughs> I kind of love that because I always thought that 
you just say the same everyone says the same thing like they tell you what to say mm-hmm. and like you just say that yeah. right mm-hmm. and then i went to a wedding this past summer and th- they were doing their vows up there and i was like and then it happened again the next wedding i went to and i was like wait a second this is a little different from what i'm used to is like you yeah. just have the person repeat like the traditional yeah. vow so i i do kind of like that because it, it kind of takes away the pressure of coming up with your own or True. like you're standing up there and then like, you have like to take out a piece of paper in yeah. your pocket or you're yeah, crying like, so much that you can't even speak yeah yeah it's a, it, that, that becomes a little like a speech which is which is fine some people love that and and mm-hmm. i'm totally fine with that but bernie kind of nailed it plus he was he was funny and uh then that gave us the freedom oh oh also he was quite he's a little bit into the sacredness of the of the ceremony okay so he was when we were telling him that we were thinking of filling in the time with our own words he was like yeah but if you do that that has to be meaningful. That's not the time for thanking people or for any inappropriate right. jokes. So Which he, he I was, was like, I can't. Was yeah. I can't like, promise. Anna. <laughs> <laughs> but the, so what? Ha- the crowd. I have to call out some Bravo celebrities. Mercedes Javid huh. busted Shaz, busted her ass. Apparently, she fell like on the sand because she's probably wearing like yeah. ten inch heels. Yeah, yeah. And then she was like heckling from the back, like what? <laughs> and I was like, "Who does anyone know who that woman is?" Like, we were literally having like a little bit yeah. of stand up. People were rowdy. People were fun, and it, it was just like a good energy. And and I one piece of advice when you're like doing the seating charts is put all the craziest people closest to the dance floor. Yeah, like put people based on their energy levels, because um, then like everyone else just like attaches to that energy. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, everyone is popping their pussy. Mm-hmm. And that's our exactly crowd, what you wanted. As they should. As our they crowd should. was rowdy at the ceremony too, which really made it. Yeah. Because Bernie was quite funny. Yeah. And anytime he made like the slightest joke, the crowd like totally went. <laughs> we literally went and back. They and were like, like that's cheering. A hot crowd. <laughs> they were cheering early, so the ceremony ended up becoming the highlight for me. Like yeah. the ceremony was. The amazing. two of you are like itching to get to throw some mean, jokes out there. Really no, like, actually. God, this is a good crowd. We would we crush. Had like, I had a couple one liners, but like I was trying to be like good. <laughs> yeah. No, it was. It, it would. The ceremony was couldn't have been better. And the fear of it being too quick was unfounded. It wasn't too quick, but even like it can't be too quick really like it's yeah. just people want to get to the like yeah. we but now then he you did his word. speech and he's murdering like laughs for That's a minute at the, at the ceremony, at the yeah. ceremony. After the laughs for a minute. and then okay. he calls me out because i'm enjoying it and then i realize fuck i'm up after him like i have to get my head right and i'm looking at my phone and he goes she's not listening because she's preparing for her speech next yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that well, was because i looked over for like i'm like talk i'm like ex- professing yeah, my yeah 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 and i look yeah. over and she's yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> i was like this, this bitch doesn't yeah. care she just she's wants like, to kill herself she's like i'll watch it later <laughs> on I'm like, I'm like, my, yeah. my set has to be better I'm than like, his. i can't follow him and bomb yeah. <laughs> do you think you think you did a good job so his like laughs per minute wise was better but i did i did have a applause break because of one of my jokes so i was happy okay okay i so, basically so you, do you want to do the joke it's a very good joke i might have forgot it but it's something <laughs> no so i uh, can i do it then because he then remembers it's less, it. less offensive or do you want to do it i'll try to do it and you you're going to repeat it your way anyway well, no, okay, so. I mean, you're going to ruin it if you don't oh my God, do that it was right. such a marriage moment i mean he's gonna just you know do what he always <laughs> does um i basically was like i've i'm so upset that i like haven't been able to live some of your life with you as because you know you're older, but I realize all those experiences have made no, you who you are no. today. Oh, right. That's okay. how I. Oh, go ahead. No, I thought you were gonna jump on a punchline no. there. Because no. <laughs> this is, by the way, just one for the record. This is not how she said it at the at the. Okay, yeah. and then and then I was like, sometimes I wish I met you in college but then no when uh, when you were in your 20s when you were in your 20s but then i realized that i would have been in elementary school i would have been in kindergarten <laughs> i would have been in kindergarten so he remembers it way i really you know, wish she had just let me tell you had to be there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, that is you, you have to make that joke you have to like well, that's exactly that joke it was great. Was that, that joke writes Everyone itself low yeah. hanging fruit yeah. yeah that joke writes itself my yeah. recent stand up has been like a missionary in New York City trying to get girls to date older guys. One girl comes up to me, she's like, I'm breaking up with my 23 year old boyfriend right now. I want to meet a gray haired zaddy. Yeah. And I'm like, Absolutely. Are you Is single it, right now? No, she's not. Wow. <laughs> she gets picked up fast. Yeah. There was yep. like three minutes there. Yep. <laughs> no older men for her. No. Oh, sorry. Sorry. But anyway, if, no anyone's, offense. <laughs> if anyone's interested, raise your age range on the apps. They're fun. Yeah. The only negative about. Uh, the marriage with an older guy is that the older guy's uh, friends are all married. Mm. So I didn't cover my end of the bargain for her mm. single friends. So you can't really right. set anybody. Got a few no. complaints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a few complaints from her side. Mm-hmm. 
there's only singles on your side. <laughs> we have a lot of, I'm kind of one of the earlier friends to get married, which is fucking crazy because no one would have guessed. Yeah. But I always was kind of like, uh, I love having like a best friend partner type thing. Yeah. Ugh. But like, I'm more like once I find someone I'm comfortable with, I'm like a cat. I'm like, let's sit on the couch all the time. And H- How old are you again? Um, I'm 30. A wise 30. Are you? I should be 31 in August. I thought you were like a lot younger. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I do have I really very did. um young, fruitful energy. I definitely. really did because I was like, <laughs> "Wow, she got married so young." <laughs> I was like, "Actually, that's a completely right. normal age to get married." Yeah. Well, in New we York, it's, I'm a child bride in New York. I truly am. No, but that's a completely normal age to get it's married. Completely normal. Age. Yeah, literally, like you're heading into like a time it's when you're no- yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's not remotely very early. normal. Age. No, no, not at all. Actually, <laughs> it's, it's very normal. Up, though, I'm 27 and I have like 50 weddings in the next year. Oh my god, you poor babe. Yeah, I do think once you get a ring like girls listen to your advice way too much because i don't know shit but i do think your 20s like everyone you date is a mirror for you and you learn so much about yourself through I'm those shocked experiences that you're th- i'm sorry i'm still trying to digest i don't know why well, how, the, you were like 27. All, this, all this time you've known her you thought she was younger you're like the way yeah. i've seen you well, act <laughs> I, I just thought you were like i thought you were friends age yeah 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 i mean i thank you yes my yeah. skin is like I'm, we're Italian, yeah, you know. Yeah, I have olive oil skin, J Lo. Yes, that's yes, what we're doing. Yes. But yeah, I really think you're, th- you're olive oil skin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't like actually met a guy before that I was like I can marry this dude. I dated a lot as like you're literally learning. It's just research, like researching people, what you mm-hmm. like. You don't know. It's like out of college, you don't know what job you're gonna do. Yeah. Right out of college, don't put the pressure that you have to find that person yet because you have to learn who you are. And I really am like fortunate that I've been able to you know, live life in New York City, meet a lot of cool people to know when I felt someone was right. What translated, she means she had a lot of dick before lot she of met dick. me. A <laughs> lot of dick. That's, lot very, of dick. that's what she's trying important. to get across. I know, I don't there. know, during it, I'm like, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, Be- <laughs> I was aware of that. Yeah, you're like, you're like, I'm like, around. do you want to talk about all my exes right now? <laughs> Where do you guys live again? We live Lower in the Lower East Side. Lower. So you do live in, in Manhattan because for a while you weren't, right? We well, we have a pandemic. place out in West Hampton. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's why that's I married him. Nice. <laughs> Second nice. date, I I literally went back to his place and he was surprised, but I like yeah. wanted to see the situation. I was like, I could see myself here. Now that it's summertime, do you guys spend more time in the Hamptons rather than the city, or is it like split? We I mean, try. It just started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We try. However, doing stand up, like you have to do so many reps in the city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, w- w- I'm going to be in the city a lot this summer, mm-hmm. but it's nice to like be able to have a weekend like invite some friends tell them to come out and west hampton is it's been fun hmm i'm gonna ask a question i don't know how it's gonna go but i'm gonna ask it anyway it's an awkward question yeah, yeah it's an awkward question i love so, it. so you'll be in the hamptons yes we all know summer house film, it's not awkward film, it's films. like 45 minutes away yeah. Yeah, okay yeah. so i was gonna say are you were, are you nervous at any like it's been like that already. we did a whole crossed? summer already like that yeah well i also the places that we used to go and like a blackout is not what I like do anymore. Mm-hmm. And but it is fun because like when Paige and Sierra are driving back on Sundays, I'm like, yo, come through and like we could eat a little. Or yeah, drink. yeah, yeah. But yeah. it is it is like in your mid twenties, having a share house is so much fun. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm fortunate now. You're thirty. To- <laughs> <laughs> and married. And married. Honestly, it's, it's actually a non-issue because it's not anywhere near. Yeah, West yeah. End's quite west. Yeah, it's it's, so it's quite a bit earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, not as much traffic. You had a lot of good, uh, like, Bravo Labs at the wedding. Who who got the drunkest? Oh, my God. You know, Take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could be anyone. Could be okay, anyone. I, I mean, Mercedes was very drunk. Yeah. That wouldn't have been my guess. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I do have to say Nima, too, from Chaz, was amazing. He, like, took the mic at the end and was, like, directing people to the after party, like, so invested. <laughs> I feel like there's some Bravo lebs that you meet, and even though I might not, they might be in LA or something. You you stay connected with them, yeah, yeah. Because they've experienced similar stuff to you, and like I'll never forget a nice text message that like someone sends mm-hmm. me, and I was Sheena and Brock. I was just gonna say, is that where Sheena came into play? Sheena, <laughs> Brock is my new favorite guy. He's such a nice guy. Sheena, I have to say, is such a reality TV vet and knows how to deal with like every issue, mm-hmm. every embarrassment, every situation. And she support. She goes to all my shows, like every stand up show. She yeah. shows up, and I'm like, Sheena, you're too important to be here. She loves it. Um, also, like some tea. Raquel was there, 
Yes. Kind of. His name is Date, so we'll see. We'll manifest. Interesting. But I told her to decenter men from her, her life yeah, right now, yeah. <laughs> which you guys have to agree on that. She yeah, needs yeah. a moment. Give yeah. the girl a, a break. Yeah. yeah. Who would I mean, you James say already was has uh, a new girlfriend? Who would you say was the drunkest? Yeah. I, I was just kidding. I wanted to hear your guess. Yeah. I was gonna guess like Craig and Paige. Yeah. Well, I would have said Craig. Craig, Craig, Craig. Craig minus Paige, Craig but I was been, being yeah. nice. I'd say Craig would have been the there. safe answer there. <laughs> yeah, and like, also somebody who wouldn't get offended. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. He wouldn't have <laughs> no problem. Craig will, like, it doesn't no matter problem. where. He was true to form, as we say. Yeah. It Ireland. doesn't matter where he is. He will find the bar and greet everyone like he's working at the bar. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's talking. The best part about weddings is you'll see, like, an, a golf, one of his golf friends just, like, Che chatting it up with Brock and I'm like what possibly could they yeah, be talking yeah. about right now <laughs> yeah. but the, everyone's just drunk and having a good time but it was cool to see these people come from like LA and all these places just yeah. to celebrate any um wedding competition because Stassi got married this the same time also and, Joelle know. Fletcher got yeah. married mm -hmm. during that time yeah that yeah. was a big wedding weekend like Sheena was at your and you wedding. guys all had different Bronx. kinds yeah. of, you guys had all different <laughs> weddings Stassi was in Italy you guys were in the Hamptons and then Jojo was and, in a wine yeah, wine yeah. country in California yeah. we were joking on our show we were like that that we were like that specific weekend was the perfect like magazine of like shopping for weddings you could be like do you oh, want a beach do you want a beach wedding do you want a, you want a oh european God. wedding do you want a wedding at the winery in california <laughs> it's so yeah they fucking nailed it and i also i loved that the weddings were so different so different and i also felt like it was kind of like a launch to summer and like a yeah. launch of yeah. love and i a launch of love i would have never she decenters men from her life i mean love <laughs> of yourself um yes <laughs> but we lost taylor strecker to stassi's wedding yes. that, was, yes. that taylor, was a negative that yeah. was Bad. Like as in it wasn't dramatic, but she right. had to go to yeah. Stasi. Very like, early which was on. unfortunate because we really love Taylor Strick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very early on. She was like, This is so fucked up, but yeah. Stasi is the same week. But I had her at my bachelorette. Um yeah. Sheena was funny. She knew it was in some articles and laughing that they were like trying to make drama. That yeah. I know. I was I, I I I happened to see a couple. I was like, what? Like, <laughs> yeah. I was a million miles from any yeah. of that. Yeah. Everyone. W I think the the tabloids were saying she was uninvited uh -huh. or like there was budget cuts and she got cut yeah i do think Stassi <laughs> was planning like a massive cool wedding in rome yeah but i feel like what she did was so tasteful and so beautiful, so beautiful. and also beautiful. i would never give a shit about this i'd be like oh like she looks beautiful but because i've been in wedding mode i'm like those chrysanthemums were an amazing pick yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i i felt honored to like be part of the conversation with all these great yeah. women getting married Right. Des, did you have a bachelor party that competed anywhere near what Hannah's bachelor Actually, party was? I, I ended up not having a bachelor party. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it just kind of, oh, you know, I lived in Ireland most of my life. I don't know if you know that about me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of my closest Hurry friends were coming twice. over from Ireland. So I, when they came over, they were just like staying, like she got kind of stuck in it. She was like in it with us. I was like, do you guys need an espresso martini? Yeah. Can I tell them what you actually said? I mean, if you have to ask that question, do you think that that's a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> let's like, just not. Des take has the risk. been a bachelor his whole life. Yeah, let's just not take the risk. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I wish I could give you like crazy tea about my bachelor party, but it was just a bunch of guys in their yeah. 40s. We had, we had a great time, but wasn't we didn't right. I didn't have a bachelor party. They, and the night, the funny thing is the night before the wedding, we had like rehearsal dinner and then we, we went to this bar afterwards. It was like me, Hannah's dad, Hannah's brother's <laughs> father-in-law, like all the ad, like proper adults, even though I'm an adult. And my brother was hammered and he was like, bro, you never had a bachelor party. We're going we're going to a strip club right now. And I was like, yeah. Aiden, Hannah's father's like right there. He's like, bro, it's your right. You never had a bitch. It's your right. It's your right. <laughs> it's your right. It's your right. Like, it's 12 o'clock like, the I'm day tired. before the wedding. Like 12 a.m. the day before the wedding. He goes to bed at 9.30. He's like, guys, this is a bachelor party. We're going to go to Walgreens, get some Advil for our lower backs, <laughs> and watch the Met game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you have strippers at your bachelorette party? Yes, but okay. I <laughs> <laughs> she didn't really. We yeah. okay. she went to a club where there's yes, a go-go yes. dance. You guys oh, know. Well, you were in Miami. So we went to Miami. We went to 11. Yeah. I told Paige, I, w I was like, when we saw her, we were like, we want the entire itinerary for yeah. everything I you guys did I have Miami. to do that. I like, have to do that. Because people would just repeat yeah. what you I, did. I feel like you did it perfectly. I did not know that it would be as good as it was, but we got there. I, I did a full like high school puke. Like I knees on the tile. I never told you this. Knees on the tile 
puking, came back, rallied, kissed Paige on the, oh, on the cheek. You puked on your patriot. I did. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, respect. I and like, rallied, and uh, rallied. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. you kind of have to. You have, have to. Because there was a girl just There's like pouring vodka. Moment. But Paige yeah. did such a, such a badass thing. And that's why it's nice to kind of get married later. Because like Paige has been working hard. She's been making money. And she's like, my gift to you is I'm getting you like the most badass table that the men that I've dated in the past used to get. And she's like, we're getting that table and we got the bodyguards. So like if any dude went near us, they just clothesline them. Mm. So we're just like with the strippers, like, mm, you're so sexy. And then a guy would be like, what's that? <laughs> and we love that power. Then Ja Rule got on stage and S Sierra and I rapped to him. Like he was as far as the producer, mm -hmm. always on time, like lost our voice. It was a, it was a teenage dream. That, that sounds amazing. Sounds so I, that was a fluke, right? Night. That was I, I was we, didn't, through, we didn't know Ja Rule. Yeah. Yeah, I was clicking know. through wow. every Instagram story, like watching everything so, so intently because it looks so much fun. Thank and the you. boat. The oh, yeah, the boat. The on the boat. boat. I highly yeah. recommend. We got the photographer. Not, that was our wedding photographer. Not only because we love attention, but also because, you know, when you put together a cute outfit and you don't want to be like, hey, guys, can everyone stop what they're doing and try to get a photo for me and you feel mm. awkward? Yeah. So I would literally we'd be at the table. I'd be like, you guys, go get go get solo photos. Come back. We rotate. Mm -hmm. That's a really good that idea. And I do that like picking a theme, and it doesn't have to be a corny theme, but it makes everyone feel kind of connected. Like, we did feathers, and, you know, it was fun, too, because someone wore, like, white feathers, and I was like, do you want to fucking fight? Mm -hmm. And... The um, only negative about her wedding photographer, our wedding photographer going to the Bachelorette was he got so connected <laughs> with the girls that when we actually got our <laughs> wedding photos, like the collection... Yeah. There's like 25% solo pictures <laughs> of Paige and Sierra. <laughs> from our, like, I'm not even kidding. There's like I, I whole sections of Paige and Sierra, like, posing. Like, I wouldn't they just grabbed him anything for, else, to be honest. They grabbed him for 10 minutes. They, they deserve <laughs> that. My favorite was we got on the boat, and, like, we couldn't find Paige, and then she was at the... I saw that on Instagram. Is it the head yeah. of the ship? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. Like Titanic, just like hair blowing, <laughs> doing like a 30 minute photo shoot. But the main characters at my bachelorette party were amazing. And I wouldn't want to I feel like they're all less. main characters. Like, was there any competition on who's the funniest person? You had the, no, all her, literally her the funniest people. So I, I have oh, a best yeah, yes. friend, Becca, I, I did ask who that, is ben. Melissa <laughs> McCarthy. But it, we all just were, we just laughed the whole time because everyone was just trying to get a laugh yeah. out of someone. And, it was good energy, and like I just realized, like the people who make me laugh in my life um, are the ones who help me. A lot of actual me. comedians. Yeah. yeah. At one point, <laughs> we got really drunk and went inside the boat and started doing like a real comedy show, <laughs> yeah. which I was like bombing, and that was very mm. upsetting for me because I'm like, it's my fucking bachelorette. What's laugh, going on? Laugh, Someone like lot, went up and got of, to the bathroom during mine. A lot mine. of pressure. It was a lot of pressure, but it was but a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, and well, I well because sometimes like you can't pull that off right because yeah. there's too much energy and then people start to get yeah. catty about it but you pulled it off somehow three I, days i there can always be that one person who's like not having fun because it's not about them and that's like not my friend group mm -hmm. i even joked at the end i'm like no one even gave a speech about me because we were all just like <laughs> having too much fun and it was um it's important to not to to not like be too obsessed with like the details of things because yeah. it's about the people that are around. But it helps that you never took the wedding that seriously. Like we didn't, but in this situation, you never took it that seriously. So you never cared that much about like, this is my bachelorette and it has to be a specific yeah. thing. Yeah, sometimes the mistakes are the best part. Like Taylor Strecker got on the boat and broke like two huge champagne bottles and um, we made fun of her for the rest of the night. Yeah. And that was amazing. But that's yep. a great part of the trip. A great part of the yeah. trip. Uh, to wrap up, what have what do you guys have going on solo now? Oh, great question. I'm traveling a lot this summer. I have shows coming up in Tacoma, never been. Portland, never been. Oh, we, we, we went to Portland. We liked it. Portland, it's cool, Oregon. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good clarification. Oh, wait, no. Not Portland, Maine. Well, Portland, Port Maine. Nope. No, it's Portland, Oregon. Oregon. Okay. <laughs> I'm the Great dumbest place. New Yorker in the world. Um, Chicago, Madison, Wisconsin. I'm going back to where I went to college. Oh. So we'll like go the KK after. That'll be really fun. And um, TikToking a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's Sounds pretty like cool. That's like you are really always on the road and so busy. Like I, every time we've done chicks live shows your name like always comes up as someone oh. we're like we should have hannah as a guest for a live show and yes. then we'll like literally go to your website and we're like nope she's got a show like we're like oh Dude, she's got she's busy anytime i'm she's near busy. you we'll make it happen <laughs> and i'll pop my pussy on stage with yeah, you thank you <laughs> thank you des what about you oh well i'm like in the middle of a tour of like a one-man show called uh, what is it called? Me and Mama. Mama. Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which I'm sure tons of your yeah, audience yeah. 
I'll do the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in August, but I'll be at the Comedy Cellar. If I'm not out of uh, the country, I'll be at the Comedy Cellar. Amazing. Check me out. Love it. So where can everyone follow you guys? Comedy Cellar. So everyone's like, Hannah, why don't you take that's his last name? Bishop is so beautiful. I'm not changing my Instagram handle again. It's at Hannah Burner. I changed it from being Burns. And um, follow me everywhere. At Des Bishop. D-E-S. Yes. Bishop. There you go. Also, I just always want to tell you guys. You're going to legally change your name? No. No, no, she'd keep it. We're decent yeah. men from our lives. Yep. But I, I <laughs> want to just... I, I kind of assumed the answer, but I just felt <laughs> yeah. like I would clarify. I also <laughs> just love to say you guys are like podcast aspirational veterans who have like inspired a lot of women to podcast. And oh, the fact oh. that you're like killing it for so long is incredible. You guys are the best. Thank oh, you. We love you know you. what? It's nice to hear it every once we in a while. We love you. No, so, it's so true. I, it's so true. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We love you. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for coming yeah. on. This was great. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for having us. so much fun. 